Meet two young women setting their sights on shaping the digital future. Hi, I'm Cassandra Sova Candela. I'm from Valencia, Spain, and I'm deeply passionate about seeing more women leading in the tech industry globally. Hi, my name is Milana Vlad, and I'm from Odessa in Ukraine. My dream is to see more young girls encouraged to study in technology. Milana and Cassandra are in Warsaw for a summer boot camp in female leadership. Twenty-nine students are here in all, representing the EU, the Western Balkans and Ukraine. The summer school for female leadership in the digital age is organized by tech company Huawei. We need to close the gender gap in tech. That's something that is going to serve humanity as a whole and not just the tech sector. Women have to be involved in creating technology. Women have to be involved in saying what future technologies should look like. Here in the EU, women continue to be outnumbered by men in the ICT sector, making up less than one in five of the workforce last year. Bulgaria had the highest share of women employed as ICT specialists, while the Czech Republic had the lowest. These young changemakers hope to help close that gap. We need to reassure women that they have very interesting points of view. They have a lot of things to add and they should start believing more in themselves. As I was talking to one of the panelists yesterday, she mentioned that if she as a woman fails, all women fail. When If a man fails, he failed. So by putting these women up there in the place of power, we're giving a way for other women to follow. From negotiation and public speaking to AI, ethics and entrepreneurship, they're all covered here with expert mentors coming from business, politics, education and beyond. I would love to see more women who study philosophy or women who study law take up a career in tech. To actually have good tech, you need diversity both in terms of background and thought, not just um, you know, uh, more women doing computer science. Former leadership school students are also back to help inspire the next generation. Janana Salamovic from Bosnia and Herzegovina is among them. I co-hosted a session about robotics. It is a topic very close to me because I just got my bachelor's in electrical engineering. So it is very important for me to empower young girls so they know they can do something in this field, in other fields, and they have this platform for all of that. Georgina Taroni from Hungary is also a leadership school graduate. When I was attending the school, I was this really shy girl. And when I returned home, I was full of ambitions. So I decided to switch my jobs. I left my intern job and started working full time in a financial tech company. It's something I really enjoy and something I feel good at. It's the final day and the students are preparing to pitch on stage. Cassandra and Milana's group have come up with an app to help women plan activities around their energy levels. I'm feeling a bit excited and a bit nervous, but keeping in mind that I've been working with all of these girls, that kind of helps me feel a bit less nervous. Our solution is an app to help women manage their energy levels. We went from nothing to a problem project solution presentation speakers. It was a lot of work and we're very proud of ourselves. After a packed week of learning, the school's wrapping up with a goodbye gala. Our great presence and the host queen is Cassandra Saba Candela. This experience has changed each one of us. Not just on a personal level, I've also gotten to meet so many amazing and inspiring women. It's been a, an amazing experience. Milana from Ukraine. The top award of future leader goes to an emotional Milana. The most thing I'm proud of right now is the fact that I am the first Ukrainian winner in this academy. And I'm very happy to represent my country. I think my family is going to be very proud of me.